So uh, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, Dan Pipitone is the head of Trade Zero. Uh, he is the contact for everyone that needs to know anything about Trade Zero, and he put together a really good presentation today about short selling. So today's presentation is going to be about short selling for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then Dan is going to hang around for another 10 minutes after to field Q&A. And then from there, we're going to do our normal uh, orientation video stuff, walk you guys through the platform, walk you guys through Slack, walk you guys through anything and everything that has to do with MIC so that you guys know where to find all of your resources. And then at the end, uh, me and Tosh are going to do a Q&A for the members uh, and for the viewers on YouTube. So without further ado, uh, take it over, Dan. Alex, thank you so much. Really, really happy to be here in front of your audience. Uh, this has been a long time coming. Uh, but, um, you know, we've, we've kept our eye on uh, MIC and what you guys do. And, uh, you know, like your story, you know, we're here hopefully to, 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 to provide value, to provide access to, you know, the, small, the smaller account, the larger account, uh, really democratizing our offering uh, and, and making it um, accessible for all. So as you mentioned, um, you know, I'd like to go into short selling. Um, this is one of the, um, you know, main uh, tools that we offer that is uh, somewhat of a differentiator between other brokerages. So I'm going to go into the mechanics of short selling and, um, you know, how it all works. So, you know, you watch CNBC, you watch Fox Business, um, you know, green days, everyone is happy and it's all good. And so when stocks go up, we're kind of preconditioned to be happy. Uh, and conversely, when they go the other way, uh, we're supposed to be sad and we're, we're not happy and everything is, you know, is negative on down days. Uh, but there is a strategy that exists uh, that uh, can turn that frown upside down on those down days. Um, so we like to answer this question of got shorts to trade zero. <clears throat> so what is it? Short selling is investing or trading strategy, uh, speculating that the price of the stock is going to go down in value. So short sellers will profit from a decline in stock's price. The mechanics of it is that they're selling shares at a price with the hope that the stock is going to go down and they can buy it back at a lower price, thus creating a profit margin. So if we see graphically, um, you know, here's an ideal trade uh, where a short seller is shorting at, you know, 54 bucks and is covering at, um, $18, excuse me one second, let me shut that off. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, and this would have been a really nice trade. Uh, it was an overnight swing, um, but uh, you know, it, it was a 30 plus point move. So mechanically, like how do I sell what I don't have? This was, you know, before I kind of got into this, this is while I knew the word short selling and I was comfortable saying it, I really didn't know like, what happens. Um, and the first step of facilitating a short is to borrow the shares from someone that is long the stock. Who can we borrow from? Uh, these range from other, other investors at my firm that are long the stock and they've given permission uh, by, by nature of signing their margin agreement. Many firms include in that the ability for the firm to loan out their shares um, uh, that are held in, in that are held long. Uh, shares can come from your broker's own inventory, uh, as well as outside institutions that will lend out their stock. Uh, of which Trade Zero has partnerships with uh, seven or eight of them at this point. But how do I actually borrow the shares? So every morning when you when you log into your uh, broker's terminal, you will be provided a list of stocks that are easy to borrow. So stocks that are easy to borrow, it doesn't mean that they don't need to be borrowed. It just means that they're easy. They're in plentiful supply. Uh, and typically, those can be lent out and borrowed without paying any fee. These are usually you know, the most widely traded of stocks. The stocks that are not easy to borrow, these need to be sourced or located. Located is an industry term. So what's a locate? Locates, sometimes referred to as borrows, you'll see that a lot on Twitter. Those are the discovery and sourcing of shares that can be used for shorting. A short trading plan relies on the ability to locate shares. So basically, if you're a short seller, it's really all about the ability to locate shares. 
uh, and to, to cover uh, compliance, locates must be gotten before initiating a short order in any non-easy to borrow stock. So to put this all together, if someone is on, a, is on their system at XYZ Broker or Trade Zero, uh, and they're, uh, you know, they're looking at a symbol and they press the short button, if the symbol is easy to borrow, then mechanically, the broker will lend the, the, the easy to borrow shares, the short trade will be initiated and allowed to go through. Once the short is covered, the shares are then returned to the borrowing party. All of this happens automatically and your broker dealer handles the mechanics of all this. But just being aware of what happens is, it helps. Orders, uh, shares that are not easy to borrow have a, a locate requirement. When that happens, a broker will go and locate the shares for the client. If the client ex wants to do the locate and they accept the fee for facilitating the locate, the broker will then source those shares, lock those in, give them to the client. Once the client has the, the, the locate in place, they can then initiate a short trade. They can cover it. And then the shares are returned. So this sounds great. Well, we should just be printing money because, uh, you know, at least from my own perspective, um, you know, whenever I'm long a stock, it seems that they go down much quicker than they go up. Um, and so short selling, which sounds like a great strategy, but there are risks involved. Uh, and these need to be taken to heart and understood really before initiating every short trade. Uh, so number one, short, trailing, sh uh, short selling requires a margin account. Just by nature of trading on margin, it means that you can lose more that's in your account. Theoretically, stocks can only go down to zero, but they can go up infinitely. So if you're short a stock, there's really an, uh, uh, an unlimited loss potential. And then finally, as I've covered, some of the, some of the uh, scenarios uh, for getting into a short or locating the stock can be very expensive. Uh, and the fees uh, for locating and then subsequently borrowing, if you hold the stock overnight, can be very high. So it's important to be aware of what those are before executing your trading plan. So is it for me? Um, some brokers liken short selling to, and I quote, borrowing money from a loan shark and gambling it down at the track. Um, we disagree, obviously. With proper understanding of the risks and fees involved, short selling is a strategy used effectively by many traders, investors, and institutions in both overnight and intraday basis. So what are the, some of the common issues facing today's short sellers? Um, you know, Alex and the guys can definitely attest to this, uh, but there are issues of supply and cost. Some examples, you know, supply. I've identified a short, uh, this thing looks like it's going to tank. Will my broker have shares? Um, or I've identified a short and I, I think it's, you know, it, it's, it's six o'clock uh, tonight and I think that tomorrow, this stock is really gonna have some uh, downward price action in the morning. But if I don't wake up at six o'clock in the morning, will there still be shares for me? Is it, is it an, only a scenario where the early bird gets the worm? Another scenario, morning rush is over. It's now 10.30 Eastern. I'm in a short position. Uh, it's going with me. I want to add more shares, but I'm not sure if there's going to be shares available. So what's next? From a cost perspective, uh, you have, you know, sometimes a locate can be too expensive. I'll pass. Uh, or you may locate a stock, pay the fee, and then the setup never materialized. So you never shorted it. Uh, or, hey, that was a great short. Uh, I, I took the first 20 minutes of the day. It was a great trade. I'm done for the day, but I have already paid for those fees. I have already paid that locate fee. Another scenario quite common uh, is that you, you hit your loss limit for the day, um, but you still have the located shares. So what can you do? Um, traditionally, um, Brokers will give you access, as I mentioned before, to both the easy to borrow list uh, and also to in internal inventory and potentially external vendors. However, Trade Zero, we have a differentiator. Uh, and this is a patent pending innovation uh, that we came up with and released last year. So we have now sourced basically 
the next generation of liquidity. Uh, we are the only broker doing this at this point. Uh, and as I mentioned, we have a patent pending on this technology. So we have created a function called marking shares for credit. What this allows is traders can recoup up to 50% of the current per share locate cost by marking those shares for credit. So unwanted, unused, or unable to be used, locates can now be monetized. You're not stuck uh, you know, with the fee. Um, the buyers of locates that are coming in from someone who's selling them internally receive a 5% discount on what they see on the screen. What this does, net-net, is it creates more supply, especially for those harder to borrow stocks, and it also gives traders the comfort of knowing that, hey, it's never done. I'm never ultimately stuck with something that I paid for and I have no way out of. So there's always a facility here at Trade Zero for um, users who are done with their locates to spread them out to other people who may not have been able to get them when, when the inventory was high. Uh, and it also gives a way to potentially recoup some or all of the fees that, they, they, uh, that it cost them to get into the short. When I say all, uh, many times throughout the day, locates will start at a number, and then if, you know, as, as demand goes up and supply goes down, that per share price for the locate will go higher. Um, and so there, there is an opportunity potentially when, uh, this is an unintended consequence of what we've done, whereby, you know, someone getting into a locate at two cents selling them later on in the day for three. So in asking that question, got shorts, Trade Zero likes to answer that with, yes, we do. Uh, so I'm happy to take any questions uh, on the presentation on short selling and on all things Trade Zero. Well, I think one important thing that people should make note of is the fact that you could sell back the locates if you don't use it or you're done with that. That's something that's completely unique to you guys, right? It is. We are um, about 14 months in on our patent application, uh, a lot of back and forth with the patent office. So we are ever hopeful that this will be granted in the coming year. Awesome. Uh, do you guys have any questions? Uh, so just so before anyone else uh, kind of asks something maybe redundant is we're actually running a promotion with trade zero. Uh, so if you sign up, uh, Anytime this week, you will get access to three months of free platform. You guys are going to get 5% uh, off locate fees. And to open up an account, it is going to be just $1,000. That's correct. And just a couple of other nuances. Um, when we're talking about Trade Zero International, which is based out of the Bahamas, just making sure everyone is aware, for, your non, for the non-U.S. folks, uh, it is a real good way to access the U.S. markets with a minimal investment, uh, and you would be able to day trade with as little as $1,000. Uh, you can open a margin account also with $1,000, uh, and there's no restriction to the number of trades that you, the number of day trades that you make. Uh, so it's a, it's a sincere advantage, uh, and, and again, speaking to what I, was, what I led with, uh, which is basically fair and balanced treatment uh, for, you know, as, as it relates to access, for you know, the larger and the smaller accounts equally. Yep, so I have some questions coming in for you, Dan. Uh, number one is how early can you start locating shorts uh, with Great. Trade Zero? Great question. So we turn the locator on for, for fills uh, anywhere from 640 to 650 uh, every day. Uh, in and the that's, morning. that that's is New York time, right? Market Correct. time? Eastern time. Okay. Um, tip, j just, just a little bit more clarification okay. on that. The way that a lot of this stuff still works is, you know, is with humans actually at desks, you know, making phone calls, building, building lists. We're not really at full capacity in terms of what we're looking at for a good part of the day till 7.15 or 7.20 in the morning. Gotcha. Um, another question is, someone is from Europe. How long does it take to set up an account at Trade Zero? The account opening process is about 10 minutes, uh, and we are in uh, 24 to 48 hour approval turnaround on the international accounts. Gotcha. 
And maybe just a question that I can kind of field is, you know, what makes Trade Zero more special than any of the other brokers out there? Well, we, we, we kind of have that, that unique marriage of outside of the short selling, which is definitely, you know, a major differentiator, that unique marriage of commission free trading uh, and professional grade execution and, and platform technology. So we've tried to really take kind of those people who, 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 who were left wanting more with the Robin Hoods and the Weebles of the world uh, and, and give the professional type trader, the active trader, access to the commission free, but in an environment that they're already familiar with. So, you know, trading from a level two screen, being able to, you know, trade pre and post and doing that all commission free is kind of the, in our opinion, the perfect marriage between, you know, the commission free mobile app uh, and, you know, the, uh, the day trading shops in the world. Yeah. And borrows are hard to come by these days. I mean, a lot of these retail brokerages like the E-Trades, the TD Ameritrades, the Robin Hoods, you know, if you're looking to short sell uh, any of these small cap companies, there's a 99% chance that they're not going to have it. You know, they'll let you short Amazon and Apple. That's right. No one wants to short those. But if you want to kind of focus on these small cap penny stock scam companies and not pay commissions on your trades, I mean, there's no better option than using Trade Zero. I mean, you guys have a very large locate list. You guys have uh, free commissions. And with the promotion, they're going to get platform for free and the locate fee discount. That's correct. And really, Alex, to, you know, as, I, as I, I was telling you guys before the call, the response from your audience has been great. Uh, we look forward to, uh, you know, to really uh, helping out on an individualized basis uh, and you know, responding to any questions. The chat that we have on our website is accessible 24 by 7. Uh, it's not uh, operated by bots. There are live people uh, there at all times. So, um, you know, we're, we're ready, willing, and able to service the audience uh, 24 by seven. Yep. And we have a representative in my investing club as well for trade zero. So you can kind of go right into the Slack channel. You can message our trade zero rep and she'll get back to you same day. Let me see if there's uh, any more questions. I'm an American citizen. I'm American, but I'll be moving to another country, possibly dual citizenship. Will I be using Trade Zero or Trade Zero International? You would be using Trade Zero. Trade Zero, okay. Um, is it possible to see price action from 5 a.m. on Trade Zero? I would assume that's yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, the, the system is up 24 um, 7. You know, the quotes are happening. I, I think some exchanges are open at 3. Don't quote me on that. Um, but we, you can actually start trading at 4 a.m. All balances and buying power are, are uploaded into the system prior to 4 a.m. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the system works 24-7. We actually will accept orders uh, 24 by 7 because you can place a GTC order at 3 a.m. on a Saturday with the understanding that that order will go live at the next market open. Gotcha. Gotcha. Can you explain the locate uh, buyback again? Maybe just maybe a little bit more in detail because that's a, I think that's an incredible feature that more people need sure. to know about. Okay. So, so on all of our platforms, we have a, a window we call the shortlist. Um, and what it allows users to do is you can create like a watch list of all stocks that you want to short during the day. And the, the prices for the locate will update in real time. You'll actually see the move on the screen, just like you would for you know, a regular uh, stock book. And you'll, uh, and you'll also be able to see if the stock is easy to borrow or not. Um, and if we have supply, when you, when you click on a locate, it, the, the, the system will return back a, uh, a per share amount and also what the entire cost is going to be for the, uh, for the number of requested shares. So let's say you were requesting XYZ, it was a two cent locate on a thousand shares, we're gonna show you a fee of 20 bucks. Everyone has the opportunity to accept that, to decline that. As soon as they accept it, those thousand shares are now in their control. For whatever reason, if, if the user is no, no longer needs those thousand shares, they can click, click this little credit button that you see here on my screen. And what that will do is it's called marking it for credit. So now the internal sellers of those locates 
have first priority for the next customer, next trade show customer that comes in and wants to locate those same shares, they would be, they would be gotten from the first customer on a five-fold basis. So we're bringing those thousand shares of XYZ in to the firm. And when one customer is done, the firm is at, mechanically speaking, the firm buys it back from the customer and then revends it to another customer. So the, the facility, especially when you're talking about stocks where, the, where our outside vendors have no more supply, it's never a no with us because there may be situations where we're out of supply on all vendors, but you know, some big locator in the morning had you know, 25,000 shares of XYZ, and now they're done, they're marking it for credit, enabling our other users to participate in, the, in those shares that were previously located by another customer. So the marking for credit, it's not a guarantee that you're gonna be able to sell your shares, um, but it is a facility that works on a FIFO basis, meaning first in, first out. So if you're the first person to hit mark for credit on those shares, there's a good chance that you're gonna be able to, to get out of those and recoup some of that cost. Gotcha, gotcha, that's awesome. Um, someone's asking, do you guys have an integration option with DOS? or is that something that's maybe in the future or what kind of platform are you guys currently using? So all of the platforms that we offer are proprietary. They're our own, they're homegrown. We have two web versions. They're HTML5 and JavaScript. They run on everything. Uh, we have our flagship product called Zero Pro. That is a Windows-based download uh, like DOS. Uh, they do a lot of the same stuff. Uh, and then finally, we have our mobile app, which uh, for your, for the MIC users, they get three months free of the pro platform. Uh, our web and mobile are free, so everyone gets that regardless. Um, but if they wanted to upgrade post the three months, there is a monthly fee for uh, the pro platform. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, is there any other questions? I'm, I'm kind of trying to field in. For that DOS user, I would personally uh, take on the challenge of bringing them through our software and uh, making sure that they were real comfortable in using it. Awesome. <laughs> um, let me see, there's your chance, guys. What about, uh, what's the best way for uh, them to contact you or someone from Trade Zero, Dan? Uh, if you're an MIC, we have our rep inside MIC, but that's right. if we are uh, maybe not a member or someone that's interested, what's the best way for them to contact uh, Trade Zero? Our website is always the best um, because like I said, we have it staffed uh, by live people 24 by seven. Uh, these are people who are licensed. These are people who have access to you know, the system so that they can really provide uh, you know, top-notch customer service that's relevant. Um, and uh, you know, our, we, uh, we pride ourselves on having access by phone uh, from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. You can call us uh, either in the U.S. or the Bahamas our, uh, our phone numbers are on the websites, uh, you know, for the Trade Zero America and for Trade Zero International. Gotcha. Um, if someone is using the web platform, will they be able to uh, pre-locate shares or is it yes. just a pro platform? We'll have mobile, pro, they all have the same access. And not only that, but if you did something on mobile, for example, when you got back to your desk, you would see that action replicated over to the other platform. Awesome. So they all talk to each other in real time. Yeah, guys, to get the, uh, the discounts and the promotions, uh, let Trade Zero know that you're from MIC, you're a member, and they will automatically be able to uh, get those promotions. Applied That's correct. Right. Uh, the website for those that maybe are just listening is tradezero.co slash MIC. And if there's no other questions, uh, that's basically it, Dan. Great. Alex, Tosh, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate the opportunity. And uh, for your MIC uh, members and prospective members, I can only tell you this. For your prospective guys, uh, I've been following personally um, Alex and Bao for a long time. Um, you know, outside of my partnership with these guys, uh, you know, they're all about providing value. I, I, they do what they say. They say what they do. Uh, and, and if you're looking to learn, uh, I think there's no better place, in all honesty. Uh, and if we could be, uh, you know, part of that process, 
um, it, it's really what we're here for. Um, so uh, if you have any questions whatsoever about our service uh, or about anything that I may not have spoken about today, uh, please don't hesitate to visit our, our, our websites uh, or hit us up on the chat. Awesome. Thanks yeah, again. Thanks so much, buddy. Take care, guys. See ya. Have a great day, man. How about you too? All right, Tosh, I think you could take back control of the screen. Cool, brother. Uh, one sec. Let me start share. All right, can everyone see Tosh's screen? Can you guys see it? All right, Tosh, uh, it's off to you. Okay, you, you guys can see it? We're confirmed on that? Let me go to webinars real quick. Awesome, okay, cool. So if you guys can see and hear me, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, basically what we do every single week, we're gonna go from the beginning. Uh, I still have, Alex, you're still here, correct? I'm always here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that. So guys, we have Alex here. Um, if you have any questions for either of us, obviously you can type them in the webinars channel. Um, if you are looking in on YouTube, type them there, but I'm gonna go through the normal structure of how we do this each week. I'm gonna make it a little bit quicker because we're a little bit shorter on time, and then we're gonna do a Q&A at the end. So. One of the first things I want to talk about is, is the accelerator course. And what this is, is this is an eight hour guide that is a video course that is designed to take you from literally knowing nothing guys. And even if you have been a trader for, you know, various amount of years, it doesn't even matter literally like one month or 10 years. I think this course is going to help you exponentially and it's going to confidently be, um, give you the knowledge that by the end of it, confidently place your first trade in seven hours. So, you know, if you guys have any, um, you know, interest in a product like this, or you want to reach out to me, we're doing bundle deals as well with the annual. Um, obviously, it's not included free like we did on our first launch, but we are working with people. You can just text my line right here at 213-458-5997. And this is going to be one of the best ways to start in MIC is we have 700 plus videos in our video library that is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful asset to your learning curve. But guys, this is going to shorten that learning curve by, I'm not kidding, like hundreds, if not thousands of percent. This is taking everything we have ever accumulated in you know, knowledge and basically condensed it into a course that we think is very fitting for you, to get, for you guys to just get your sea legs really quick, man, especially for the guys that know nothing. But again, this is not just for new traders. This is all of our strategies, all of our setups and everything you're going to want to know on how we introduce process, our certain proprietary trading strategies, and how we implement them in the market each day as, as kind of a family, as a team. So let's go through this. Yeah, Tosh, let me just interrupt real quick. Yeah, man, go ahead. Uh, something that I want to kind of include is this. Um, you know, we're up to about 800 or 900 member-only videos. And, you know, it's awesome because we have a video on every single topic, every single question that you could ever imagine, right? We've made videos on it. We made multiple videos on it. Uh, but sometimes, you know, if you're just a new trader, if you see 900 videos, you're going to be a little bit overwhelmed. You're not really going to know where to start. So the accelerator is kind of a really good way of giving yourself a foundation about trading. This is a seven hour course that teaches you everything uh, A to Z to trading, how to read uh, charts, terminology, setups, uh, patterns, uh, risk management, orders, level two, tape reading, uh, how to build a watch. It's basically going to teach you everything that you need to know. And then let's say, for example, maybe you're struggling with float rotation. Maybe you're struggling with the first uh, red day setup. Then what you could do after you watch the accelerator and gave yourself a base for everything is go directly into the video library search bar, type in float rotation, and then now you could master that one thing that was maybe throwing you off. And with having, uh, with using the accelerator course and with, uh, by, by doing that, you're also saving yourself a lot of time because to go through 700, 800 videos is going to take months, but now you just spend seven hours, you watch it. And then wherever you struggle, you get to dive in deeper to that. So again, guys, this is something that I think is really important. It gives you the structure. It gives you the curriculum. It gives you everything. Uh, and that's basically it. So if you guys have any questions, you could hit up Tosh. You know, it took us over six months to get this thing set up. Uh, we beta tested it. We gave it to our lifetime members early. We edited it, adjusted it, and even added more content into it. So this is something that's up to date. This is something that's not outdated. And this is something that's really going to help you guys. 
Well, and that's another thing I just want to say before we kind of close on this is, guys, you have to understand, man, people are selling, you know, DVDs or whatever they want to call them, courses or outdated content that's literally 10 to 15 years old. If you haven't realized, man, shorting is not the same as it was seven years ago. The market has changed and it's always changing. So this is literally up-to-date content that we produce every single week and or month or even day at MIC when, you know, Bao does an IG live or Alex does a YouTube live. We are always making sure you guys have the most up-to-date content. And that's exactly what this is, man. This is for market conditions now, not stuff that's been sold for 20 years ago at Furu services and stuff like that. So definitely take advantage. Yeah. And for the members inside MIC that have seen the accelerated course, uh, what do you guys think of it? You guys could just put it in the chat, but anyway, Tosh, I know we're on yeah, kind of a tight schedule. So do your thing. Uh, so really quick guys, Woody is actually out today, but I'm just going to explain the tab program really quick. Um, you know, Alex could probably help me on this, but you know, Alex has been a, what's called a trading accountability buddy. And this is a program that we set up in MIC as bow has Alex, Alex has bow. I've got my trading accountability buddies and what they are, they're called tab partners. And we have a channel in Slack. This is our chat room over here. And these are called channels. So right here, if you go to the trading account buddy channel, you are going to be able to hit up Woody. So you can just, uh, you know, tag him and say, Hey, Woody, you know, I am looking for a, you know, whatever. I'm looking for a tab partner. I'm looking for a partner in crime. I'm a long bias trader. I'm a short bias trader. Whatever you are, guys, we want to pair you up with somebody that's going to help you. And, you know, we like to correlate it to kind of like what a gym partner is, is you don't want to necessarily go to the gym alone. And even if you do, it's just going to be that much more beneficial if you link up with a buddy that has similar interests and will push you to get better and will push you to learn. It's like, Alex is really big into cars. He's one of my, he's one of my friends that's really big into cars like myself. So, I'm going to ask his advice on anything about cars or if I'm ever making a car purchase or like, I need to know, like, this is the thing. We're all traders. We're all trading alone and we don't have to be trading alone. That's the whole thing. So we want you guys to understand that. Yes, we are a collective and we are a family as a whole, but within the whole of a thousand plus members, guys, you can find your, your, your partner in crime, man. You guys can text each other in direct messages like this is over here, or you guys can get on phone calls in the morning and make sure that you're staying safe, holding each other accountable, not getting into trouble when maybe the pumpers come in and all that stuff. So yeah, Tosh, again, let me, let me give an example. Um, trading exactly. can be very lonely. Uh, trading could be kind of very frustrating as well. And not really being able to talk to someone about it is kind of like bottling up all of your emotions. So when you join MIC, uh, I highly, highly recommend that you go into the trading accountability channel to right go there. and ask for a tab. We're going to match you up with someone that has a similar style, similar experience, and someone that's going to kind of be there to push you to study and improve together. So something that really helped me and Bao uh, in our own trading was running our ideas with each other, making a watch list and comparing it with each other. You know, back in the day, we didn't have any videos to watch. So it could almost be like a friendly competition where you and your tab watch videos together, quiz each other on it. Uh, maybe if he's very good at the first balance and you're very good at the first red day, you can help each other uh, hone in skills for the other trades. I mean, at the end of the day, sometimes just having someone to connect with having someone to bounce ideas off of and having someone to help keep you safe is what is going to be the differentiating uh, aspect in your trading. There's certain days where, you know, if I don't give Bao a pep talk or if he doesn't give me a pep talk or if we have a good day, bad day, you know, if we don't talk about it, we kind of hurt ourselves. So there's days where I tell Bao to stop trading at 1030. There's days that he tells me to slow down. Uh, there are days that, you know, we both struggle for different reasons and, you know, having someone there to pick you up when you're down, someone there to high five you when you're up is only going to help you guys. This is all the resources that we're providing. Everything that we're doing in MIC is what we did to find ourselves success in the trading world without a tab, without bow, without Tosh. I wouldn't be where I am because I would still be trading alone. I would still be trying to figure out things. That was an extremely incredible technical trader whereas I am very good at fundamentals. So we both bring something to the table. We try to help each other out. You know, trading is our passion. This is what we love. You know, I'm thinking about it every single moment my eyes are open and when they're closed, I'm dreaming about it. So having someone to talk to about these things is really, really, really important, guys. 
and having some friendly competition to not only motivate you and push you harder will get you to that next level as well. So please reach out in the trading accountability channel, ask for a tab and take this seriously guys, because the more serious that you take it, the faster you will find your consistency. Guys, and, and just to kind of book in the tab program, I will say, just like Alex said, it is so unbelievably necessary because, dude, like we're not we're not meant to be solo creatures, man. Like we get there together. And it's like there's an old saying, right? Like if you want to go fast, go alone. If But if you want to go far, go together. So that's why we implemented this is because when we created MIC, it was about, dude, if we had started – seven, 10 years ago or 20 years ago all over again, what would we want to see, man? And again, you know, when you're doing good in your trading an accountability, a, a trading accountability buddy will make it more fun. And then when you're doing bad, when you're on a little bit of a bad streak, or maybe you just took a loss that day and it's your first loss in a month, you're going to be able to save your mental capital through your tab partner. Cause he's going to pick you up, man, he or she. And again, just because you got a tab partner maybe doesn't mean you got the one that you want right off the bat. So we can find you another tab partner. Everybody is meant for somebody. So if it takes a little trial and error, we're here to help you. But again, guys, you don't have to do this alone, man. So going into this, guys, really quick, I just kind of want to introduce our team really quick because a lot of services, clubs, you know, whatever communities they call themselves. Obviously, we're a club. We're very different. We show our faces. We want to meet you guys. We shake your hands at boot camps, man. We do the virtuals. It's so much fun getting to know you guys. So I just want to do kind of like a quick introduction on our team and, and who they are. So obviously, you have myself talking right now, T. Bradley 90, uh, Bao and Alex, who need no introduction, I'm sure. Um, and now we have our moderator team. So let me kind of introduce them. So the first one is Aloha Trader. His real name is Austin. He is a trader, and especially for all the new guys, I really want you to listen in because this is who you want to pick their brains for whatever setup that you're tracking or you know, whatever niche it is, whether it's small caps or big caps. Like just for instance, Austin is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful at big caps and small caps. And not only that, he's ambidextrous. So he does literally first bounce. He does VWAP reclaim long strategies. And he's also doing first resistance short strategies on day one or low hanging fruits or death candles like I like. So you have a lot of resources and differentiating factors in various mods. Um, Austin being kind of like literally like a full spectrum kind of trader. Same with Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly is the um, head moderator and basically the creator and basically he, he, he put together the trading basics with, with uh, series with Joe Kelly guys, the, the new one that I want everybody to watch as soon as you come in. And he also created the accelerator course. So if you are brand new and you need to learn spreadsheets or you need to learn how to track data, Joe is definitely your guy. He does options. He does small caps. He does big caps. And in big caps, he also does the long side as well. So he's just really full spectrum. When it comes to fundamentals, uh, Matt, who goes by Chicago Trader, is definitely our guy. If you guys have gravitated and finished the trading basics with Joe Kelly, guys, it's time to go to the fundamental analysis series that is so much fun and so informative. Um, so I definitely recommend that being kind of like your evolve point if this is your starting off point with Joe. Um, I'm going to group these guys together because we're so similar in process, but James, Faye, Vic, um, Tom Diesel, myself uh, right here, and Bear, we are all very, very much um, dedicated to what our comfort zone is, which is shorting in small caps. So guys, again, all of us have little tweaks in our strategies, um, whatever you want to know, if you ever want to pick our brains, our PMs, which these are right here, direct messages, just <laughs> direct message me after the webinar so we don't get a hundred chimes. But um, you guys can ask questions, man, any time of the day. You can reach out to any of our mods. We are here to help you. If you are short by a small cap trader, now you know who to contact. Now, if you are a long bias trader, uh, Harry Haas basically attacks day one uh, first bounces every single day. So he's looking for the strong stock, you know, between our process every single day, guys, it really boils down to one thing or actually two things rather, but one kind of process. And this fits within process. Is it the hot chick or is it the weak side chick of the day? It's kind of funny terminology, but it really makes sense when you start to understand our lingo. 
if you are a long bias trader like Harry, you want to focus on the strong stocks, man. You don't want to be shorting the strong stocks. You want to be attacking the weaker stocks where the attention is not necessarily on them, in which case me, Tom, Barry, you know, James, and a lot of these moderators do because we have our comfort zone within price action. Um, Oliver Tan is the curator and operator of our shop. So if you guys want a hoodie or a mug, definitely reach out to him for any kind of designs. Um, El Dutorino, really quick, I'm going to show you guys that go to the new member channel. And if you guys scroll up to the top, you see what's called the MIC secretary. This is an algorithm program into our Slack channel that not only has downloadable links. So guys, I, we have a lot of new members. I, if you're brand new and you haven't done this, please, please, please do this today. Even if you read it over the weekend, but get it today. The MIC starter pack, I want you to open this up. It'll download to your computer and you can read through it. It's everything from lingo to chart price action, you know, patterns, you know, what you should be paying attention to on the tape, um, you know, float rotation, VWAP, how we use it as an over under guide. Uh, it's just a really good rudimentary guide to get you started, guys. I, I promise you, we have every resource at MIC. You just have to put in the time to read or watch the videos and you will understand, especially with daily commentary from Val every single day. So, you know, on top of that, we've got downloadable links, everything that you need. Definitely go through this channel and take advantage. But our coder, El Dudorino or Fernando, put that together and we couldn't be more grateful because it's probably one of the best features at MIC possible. So uh, going any forward, let's see, who didn't I cover? Ah, Tay. Tay is our swing trader. We call her Mama Tay. She's probably the most experienced out of all of us next to Edson. Edson and Tay have been in the game for a very long time, um, probably much smarter and wiser than any of us are. They've just, they've seen it all, man. So if you guys want to pick the brains of a couple veterans, definitely do so. And Tay is uh, what I like to call a long swing trader. So she will find big caps, small caps, and she will tackle the swing trading side, in which case you hold for multiple days and higher time frames than maybe I would if I'm shorting, you know, something like TYME in the morning and I'm doing what's called a nail and bail strategy where I short the pop on a broken stock and then cover the wash and, you know, just rinse repeat daily. I'm not trying to go for home runs, you know, I'm just going for little base hits, but there are the traders that do get the occasional home run with a very nice swing trade. So I definitely recommend reaching out to them. A good um, area to do that is obviously uh, the swing trading chat right here, reach out to them. Uh, <laughs> of course, Faye's in here. She's a master at everything. So now she's a swing trader. Holy shit. <laughs> That's funny. But so what I want to do real quick, guys, is introduce you to our curriculum at MIC. We've got a ton of structure where we pride ourselves on the structure and the consistency that we provide you guys every single week. So um, I'm having a little hard time logging into the website because my internet's down on my phone. I'm only on the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to do it from this slide. But every single Monday after the trading, you know, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, everything is by uh, market time. Alex is going to get on a YouTube live. And what Alex, do you actually, do you want to kind of explain what you do, man? He may have gotten an espresso. <laughs> All right, I'll just go ahead. Hey, just, uh, do you hear me? My mic was kind of... Yep. Oh, gotcha, buddy. I just wanted to give you a chance, Alex, to explain exactly what you do on the YouTube Lives on Monday. Yeah, so if you guys go to myinvestingclub.com, I mean, youtube.com slash myinvestingclub, what I do is every Monday at 11 a.m. market time, I basically recap my trades for the day. So I go on my morning walk. Uh, I talk about which stocks I traded, why I traded this, why I didn't trade that what my thought process was, what I did before to plan for it. And it's just basically a recap of my trades every Monday. And it's, and it's, dude, it's up to date content, guys. Alex is literally going to go into psychology. If that's what's needed to teach you guys in that particular trading day, whether it's price action, heat, sometimes they'll show his computer. If you guys are not tuning into those regularly, which is literally free content, you guys are just shooting yourself in the foot, man. So Every single Tuesday, Bao basically does the same thing, but what he does is an IG Live specifically. While Alex tackles the YouTube Live audience, we cover uh, the IG Live on Tuesday at the same time, and maybe 15 minutes later, Bao likes to start at about um, 8.15, uh, or Pacific time, 11.15 Eastern, 
And what he talks about is psychology, man. So, you know, how to adapt to changing small cap markets, everything he brings on guests. It's such a wonderful experience, guys. He not only brings on non-members to see like where they're at in their trading, if they want to join our wonderful community, or if they are a trader of our community, whether it's been two years, whether it's been two days, man, nothing is pre-prepped. These guys are not actors. It's just whoever wants to talk about, well, he'll bring on a troll if he has to. But the point is, guys, is we want you to see what it's like being a part of our community, real life testimonial, you know, stories from guys that are kicking butt. And it's just, it's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun. So I do recommend you guys be prepared every Tuesday. And when Bao says, Hey, I want to bring someone on, go on, talk with Bao. Seriously. He brought on a troll one time and literally converted him like a few times before. Like it was crazy, man. Like, again, it's like, we give the most real raw content every single day, And we know guys are learning we know guys are getting their you know just changing their trading so our testimonials speak for themselves and look again we always say man don't judge a community by its gurus or mentors or anything judge it by the success of the members man take two seconds to check out our testimonial page and see what people are saying Seriously. and additionally bow is here literally 24 7 answering and helping it. members there's no other place that you get direct access to me bow tosh 20 moderators to help field your questions. I mean, these other guys, what they do is they show up for 10, 20 minutes a day and then they disappear after they're done pumping or they show up once a week and that's it. You guys have direct access to us all the time. And Bao is literally here all day, every day, trying to help members to the point where his fingers stop fucking working. <laughs> yeah. So Alex, I'm glad you said that. Let, let me actually show some of that. So really quick guys, this is what's called an after hours channel. If this is our main channel, which I'll show you in a second, this is our after hours channel where when we're done trading, literally Bao's in here all day. I'm in here when I have time. We are educating people on exactly how to do process. Look, Bao's posting, Tom's posting. These are the moderators. It's a fun community. This is kind of where we shoot the shit, have fun, laugh, post memes. Um, you know, it show us what you had for lunch, dude. We're posting memories where we're like having a good time in Philly at the boot camps. And dude, it's so much fun, man. If you, you guys have to understand what a club is, this isn't even a service. This is truly a family of members and we're welcoming new members. Oh, I already welcomed this guy, but we're welcoming people that come in with the greet bot. We're posting funny things. You know, it's just, it's a fun environment. It's positive. We don't accept any negativity, but most importantly, importantly, guys, if it's a slow day, which it has been all week, we are going to be in here educating you guys on what you can learn. And we're not just here to say, go watch our videos. That's bullshit. You know, that's other services, man. We are not here to just say, you know, one word answers when you ask us a question and say, Hey, did you watch the video? It's not about that. Yes. We will direct you to a video that we think can help you, but dude, my PMs are open 24 seven. You guys can literally ask any question anytime you need. And it, I'll show it again. Look at how many people are at your disposal. We are so proud of the team we built because these are people who have mastered what they do and now pass the elevator back down. MIC is not a hierarchy. Alex is not better than Bao. Bao's not better than Tay. Tay's not better than Vic and Vic's not better than me. That's not how we do it here. You are not just a number in the machine. You are a family member and we like to go out of our way to teach you. So just to show you kind of like what Alex was saying is let me actually show you what main trading chat looks like. Because it's really informative. Seriously, you guys have no idea what you're missing if you're not in this. So let me scroll up and <laughs> see how much we talk. I'm still scrolling, but I'll start right here. So this is where we kind of start, guys, in the morning. This is pre-market. <laughs> see, Val's like even posting jokes. Like, is time thin or is it thick? Like, dude, that's hysterical, right? Like, what community does this stuff? Val's posting his charts. He's posting lines. We're posting thought process. We're posting commentary on what you need to be focusing on. We're giving you real time examples and we've kept it very um, fluid and clean by saying, Hey guys, can, if you're not a mentor or a moderator, can you please post your charts in the chart recaps and fill section, just so that we can keep this a learning environment and keep after hours for pure fun. But as you guys can see, man, as we go throughout the day, Bao is in here, Alex is in here, constant commentary. We're posting what we're looking at. We're posting process. If it's a weak stock under a certain level that gravitates towards, you know, what we call a death line strategy or a first resistance or a low hanging fruit, this is what we're talking about. Bao is even posting scans. If you guys are paying for a scanner, let me repeat that. If you guys are paying for a scanner, you are wasting your money. 
Bao has covered that for you. We post regularly. You have over a thousand eyes in here to make sure that we're all after the same thing. We are, we are all talking about the same process, whether you're long or short, because there's really one way to trade based on the lines, based on the chart. And then we're posting examples. Like this was my time short today. You know, I told yeah, where I want. Show them, show, show them some of the charts that me and Bao posted in the main room. Sure, yeah, sure thing, man. So it, I'm, I don't have too much time to show you guys every comment about time. But what we were saying earlier is time was actually heavily on our radar today. And I can even pull up the chart. So here's the chart right here to the right on time, TYME. And we are posting our thought process earlier, our watch list. And we were saying all morning how this is one of the most broken stocks. So a push to VWAP into the next previous top resistance point of about 180 would be an ideal short. So here is Alex posting his chart right here on time. Sick nail right there. Um, here's Bao. He was doing, he was trading from the pre-market using the lines, using the resistance lines that we teach, covering on the washes, reshorting on resistance and covering washes. It's as simple as that. And I did the same. Guys, this is what the community looks like. We plan, we prep for hours before the open. We are not a furu who's coming in 10 minutes before, man. We're two hours before the open at minimum saying where the resistance levels are that you need to be paying attention to as a short. What is the most broken trend? What is something that you need to not be touching because it's dangerous and counterintuitive as for a long or a short? So this was not a long today. And look at the stock. We knew this. Now, I should have held. That's a whole other topic. But as you guys can see, we are posting every single day. James is posting. James did a stop out today. And then I think reattacked, you know, like this is part of process, man, on WRX. Like if we lose, we'll tell you, we'll teach you a lesson. This was Bao's full time chart. Fantastic. Right. He held a core. Um, this was his WRX chart and look at his commentary. I lost, but a manageable, not much as I only had 7k max size. And I think Bao lost a thousand on the way up. And then he reattacked once it broke down and then shorted resistance later. And if you go through the chart and, and here's our moderator bear, this is his trade on time. We are educating you guys 24 seven, whether it's after hours, whether it's the commentary and just to catch up guys, like literally, let me go through this a little bit. Look, Bao even held all the way to like one, one, it looks like 129. Like we are keeping you up to date on what you can learn. And then Bao, like I said, Reattack WRX. So when it topped out, he took a 1K loss. I'm sure he made it right back, shorting the retest of resistance. And this is called putting in a top and reshorting. This is process every single day. And this is why we teach hard stops. So where you can stop out and then reattack when the chart tells you to. So again, guys, we're not going to win on every single trade, but we're going to teach you the process that can either get your money back if the edge is there or, you know, stay safe in the process or make money from what process allows every single day. Like this is the community. So Alex, do you have anything to say on this? Or I just want to be very clear that we're covering. No, this. That's it, man. That's it. Keep, keep I mean, going. dude, like <laughs> how much more informative can we get? Yeah. <laughs> They're showing fills, dude. Like what, what I mean, more do you fully get? transparent guys? It's fully transparent. We're, we're here to educate you guys, man. We're not showing up 15 minutes before the bell. We're not leaving after 20 minutes into the session. Guys, we are here to educate you all day. No alerts, no bullshit fucking pumps, man. This is it. And again, process allows certain times to cover, come zombie hour, which Bao did to stay safe just in case it did zombie and things like that, man. We will teach you the process and most importantly, how to trade, how to shorten long a chart and how to stay safe in the process. So, but I digress a little bit. Let me get back to it. So every single Wednesday, obviously I do my new member. Every single Thursday, it's 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Aloha Trader is doing what's called his, um, it's basically a market sentiment webinar, guys, whether it's long, you know, big caps, short caps, small caps, or long or short. He's showing his charts and what he thinks is informative. Also, um, I should say, because I it's not in this particular slide, which I'll add for next week, but every single Tuesday, it's 7 p.m. Eastern, correct, Alex, for the big cap webinar? Yes, sir. Yep, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, guys, after Bao does his um, his morning um, kind of IG live at night, Joe Kelly is going to do a big cap webinar, which I'm going to add to this for next week because the website is updated, but this is not, I just realized. Um, but you guys are going to get a lot of information, man. Seriously, if, if you're not watching these webinars, guys, please watch them. Um, Fridays is going to be kind of a crapshoot. And what I mean by crapshoot, it could literally be anything. It could be Bao might do a daily recap or he trades live for you guys. Alex might do another YouTube live. Whatever we think is informative for you guys to learn, we are going to do that on Friday. And if it's a slow day and there's really nothing, then, hey, we'll talk about process. We'll show examples of other things. 
Nice, Bal. This is the process. A broken chart. He's following it down. Fantastic job, man. That's really good. See, Bal's live trading for you guys practically. <laughs> He's showing you everything, man. How much more transparent can you get? Um, Saturdays, guys, we do a weekend mentoring um, kind of session. And what this is, is the weekend mentoring channel for one hour from one, um, one to two we are doing, uh, sometimes people think this is a webinar, guys, this is not a webinar, this is actually text questions, but for an entire hour. So you can literally post any question that you have and we will answer, myself and the moderator team, you know, uh, Alex and Bowery in here every now and then if they have time on the weekends, but I am here with the entire moderator team and we are making sure that your questions are answered. Then Sunday, Joe Kelly does his trading basics series. And dude, that's a, that's a sick structure. If you ask me, man, a lot of, a lot of content for you guys to digest every single week. So really quick, let me go back to, um, uh, talk about the webinar scale. Wh which one are you talking about? Bell? I just covered all every single day, Monday through Sunday. Did you mean something specific? Oh yeah. Yeah. So, so on Tuesday, got no, no problem, man. Um, so you guys can see this right here. And if you go to the website, guys, I'm having a little bit of hard time to log in right now, unfortunately the damn internet, but if you go to my MIC right here, it will have you log in if you're a member and you are going to get a full dashboard of everything that you need. And it's, and it's just very informative guys. This is what it looks like. Actually, this is our, this is our content. One sec. See you guys. This is it. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, I put on two-way authentication on my uh, on my sign-in, and I have no LTE. I can't actually get the goddamn code. <laughs> so Alex is going to help me introduce the MIC archive with a screen share here in a minute, guys. So really quick, I want to talk about a couple video categories that are very important for you guys to start. In fact, I'm going to go to the videos tab. So if you go to the videos tab on the website, check this out. Alex actually already talked about this in a little bit in detail. Um, but guys, check this out. All categories right here. When you are a member and you are logged in, you are able to literally see and, and filter out any category that you want. Check this out, dude, chart setups, DOS, do, uh, you know, data tracking, fake outs, you know, fantasy orders. If you click something like fantasy orders and click search, you are going to have literally pages of what everything was talked about in that category in these videos. Scroll back as needed. Dude, this is so informative, man. Seriously. But if you are brand new and this is your first day or first week and you haven't done this, I want you to click that. And then these are two videos curated by Alex that's gonna show you how to use the MIC archive and it's gonna show you the correct structure to start in the video library. You know, Because I think the best start is trading basics with Joe Kelly, getting into the fundamental analysis series next with Chicago. And then dude, Trading Fish Academy and Bow Daily Recaps are going to make you, you know, once you develop process, that is sharpening the tool. That is gonna make you a master of what your process allows you through the 20 years of experience that Bow has literally slaved away and put into these videos, man. Seriously, it's the way to go. So that's kind of the content structure I want you guys to focus on. Um, next, we have our proprietary trading strategies, which are the first bounce. The first resistance, um, these are pretty much day one plays, guys. Some of these are the low hanging fruit is for day two and on, but the death line short for day ones, the first resistance is typically any day, the first bounce and the first resistance, but I love them. And I think they're super powerful on day one. And then the, like I said, you know, the first red day dude is any stock that's been up a numerous amount of days, a multiple amount of days, whether it's two to freaking 22, the day that it slams red is the go time and it creates a domino effect of psychology that tells people to sell or aka quote unquote take profit so this is a strategy that can not only be used in small caps it can be used in big caps and it's really really powerful they come a little bit fewer and far between but man when they come dude i'm telling you it is truly truly a powerful setup and a real account builder so every every single setup that we have kind of you know, made exclusive to MIC and with these names, guys, these are all account builders. And what I want you to do if you're brand new um, is I want, yeah, this, this was the NIO is setting up for a first, uh, for a first red day this week. See how far up this is for, for a numerous amount of days, dude, this is going to be good when this finally slams red and gives shareholders, um, you know, or, or long traders a chance to take their money, a chance to sell and actually make a profit. So, because you have to understand guys, there, not everybody's a day trader. There's people holding from 15, 15, 50, 16, 19, looking for, you know, 56, right? But when it slams red, it actually gives them a little 
little bit of fear. It gives them a, a sense of panic in the chart that they go, oh man, XYZ and ABC are taking profit. Maybe I should too. And then it creates a cascading kind of downward slope sometimes, in which case like the day where Alex made $100,000, dude, shorting Tesla on its first red day. Fannie Mae was a first red day, by the way. Um, you know, it, for those who aren't familiar, man, um, I, I'm not sure you know how much of a legend Val truly is, dude, but Val's been trading for, a, yeah, a reason to sell. Thank you, Jay Alvarez. Dude, Val's been trading for about 20 years. He's been trading since things were in fractions. That means Tesla's trading at 2,000, you know, in one and a quarter. Like, dude, not decimal places. So the point is, yeah, uh, basically, I mean, he's old as fuck. <laughs> but, he, but he somehow looks younger than I do at 30. What the hell? <laughs> he looks younger than a 21-year-old. <laughs> but the point is, guys, is Val made about $1.6 on Fannie Mae in one day. And his partner in crime and trading accountability buddy way back when, you know, whatever it was 10 years ago, he made about the same amount. And the reason was is because it was such a powerful first red day and the process that they had. And it was just the right place, the right time. And he was ready for it because he had practiced for years. But I just want to, I wanted to say that because you guys have to understand this is who's teaching you and educating you every single day. A man who has not only been trading for 20 years, a guy who has made $1.6 million in one trade in one day. Dude, not a lot of people can say that shit. And it's all because of process. These strategies work and they've stood the test of time. Um, Alex just posted some P&Ls from uh, what, I, what I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's Bow's chart. Dude, he traded across four accounts. Check this out, dude. 154,000. The last one had 200. This one's 605,000. Uh, what, what's that last one? This one had 460,000. You know, just a cool 460 Gs. But this was four accounts. Um, and I'll, get, I'll let Bao tell you the technicals of why he had to trade around four accounts one day because he was hiding from market makers. But dude, he's a fucking legend, man. You guys have to see the podcast. Alex, if you have a chance to find that link for everybody. Val literally just got on a podcast that's put together with James and Harry that talks all about this in his journey to actually make that money. And it was just such the right place, the right time. He had to do it across multiple accounts, dude, to stay under the radar. It was, it was fucking awesome, dude. You guys have to check this out, man. Seriously. I'm sorry, 1.4 million. I was a little bit off. Maybe your partner, David, made 1.6. 1, 1. So between the pair, about three, three M's. So let me, let me get back to it guys. Cause we got a lot to cover, but, and I'm, I know I'm racing here. I had a coffee before this. I'm so sorry, but let me introduce the pricing real quick. And then I'm going to bring Alex on to talk and screen share with you guys about what the MIC archive is, but let me kind of go to the website real quick. And I'm going to show you guys why I think this is so important to talk about. And just really quick, cause I'm not here to sell you guys on this whatsoever. I just want you guys to know your options. So a lot of guys came in on our anniversary, um, you know, monthly option. I'm so glad you guys did. I'm so glad we're so lucky to have you. I hope you love MIC so far. I just want to show you guys what is also in the other packages. So we have three options at MIC. We have a monthly, we have an annual, and we have a lifetime. Monthly is 197 a month. Annual is 1890 and lifetime is 7,000. If you guys think 7,000 is a lot, trust me, it is not. We have priced this exactly according to what we find fair, what we think is fair, and what our, what our competitors are not doing. Our competitors or anybody else is charging like $7,000, dude, for one year. And then you get to meet them in person for like an extra two Gs. It's bullshit. They upsell you on all these scanners. They upsell you on the freaking watch list and all this. Do we include everything in the lifetime membership? We actually even have promos for this right now. So text my line, you know, Val posted that. Text my line if you have any questions, but here's what's included in each package. And this is why I wanted to bring this up real quick, guys, just in case you have a little bit of questions. Um, the description is right here with a check mark to the right on each tier of membership and what you're going to get with it. So like things like the MIC Jumpstart Accelerator that is a 1497 value, that is actually included in the lifetime membership. That's just free of charge. And also annual and, and lifetime members have access to boot camps. Anything that we throw, whether it's virtual, we just did a virtual boot camp that was a two day event. Lifetimes had a second free day. Um, you have special perks when it comes to the moderators, like trading, you know, being um, Tom Diesel's account, trading accountability buddy every now and then. You can literally get on calls with James Freelander, pick his brain. You can, you can, there's just so much at your disposal, guys. If you're a lifetime member, like say you went from monthly or annual to lifetime today. So you text me later today and you're like, hey, Tosh, I actually want to become a lifetime member. 
instantaneously, you will now be able to set up a one hour coaching session with our head moderator, Joe Kelly, the creator of the accelerator course. He'll screen share it for you guys. He will send it to you when you're done. You guys can literally get on the phone and screen share it through computer computers for a whole hour. And he's just going to give you dude, like one of the best coaching sessions you'll ever have, man. I mean, he's literally the guy that created our entire accelerator course. So whatever strategy he trades options, big caps, small caps, whatever you guys are struggling with, he's going to overhaul your trading and you get that included with the lifetime. The reason why I wanted to introduce this first before Alex does the MIC archive is in the annual lifetime, you are going to get what's called the MIC archive. So what is the MIC archive? It looks like, um, it looks like this. And I'm actually going to hand the screen over to Alex for a second while he explains this and screen shares with you guys. So Alex, whenever you're ready. Give me a second. I'm trying no to get problem. set up. Dude, the MIC archive is like the sickest thing ever, man. Okay. I guess everyone can see that now, right? Yep. Good to go. All right. So this is the MIC archive. Let me show you guys how to access it. So go to the website. And when you're on the website, click my MIC or hover over it and Go over the MIC archive and then click this button. And then from here, guys, this is kind of where everything is going to be set for you. Um, basically, this is kind of your backup of Slack and MIC. So if we were kind of to go back to August 12th main trading chat, this is everything from the main trading chat from that day. It's going to have uh, moderators highlighted. It's going to have uh, charts from me, charts from Bao. It's going to basically have everything that you need. Uh, additionally, all of the charts are archived. So you could kind of go back and look at the charts that were posted that day specifically. And if you were looking for a specific stock, let's say like EYEG, you'll only see things that have to do with that specific setup. So let's see if we do EYEG here. Let's try it. I think it's taking a second to load, but usually if you type in anyone's name or you type in anything, it'll kind of show up and you guys can filter from there. Also, you can look at the watch list on the day. Uh, you can kind of go back and even go through, let's say for example, on August 3rd, a specific stock was moving and you saw a daily chart of it and you want to go back and see how we traded it that specific day. You can scroll back down to 9.30 when the market opened and you could basically see how we traded everything that day, what we were looking for, what happened, did our plans change, uh, my trades, everything. You could basically see everything. So it's think of it as your way to kind of go back, back test and see what these stocks are doing because nine out of 10 times, uh, for example, something like Seabay gaps up and tanks. If you go back and look at the archive, you could, usually predict what the stock is going to do the next time it runs. So DTSS, let's say DTSS. Let me see if we could just pull up stuff that just have to do with DTSS. Now we can look at the one year chart, the two year chart, what we were talking about, what we were looking for, how we traded it. And basically this is an archive of every single message that we've ever done in MIC. And you're going to have access to even the after hour stuff, everything. So this is kind of your way of going back in time and seeing what these stocks traded and how they traded and how you can use that information to kind of predict future price action and also review, go back and back test your strategies. And this is available free for annual and lifetime members. And also we do stuff like community voted. So there's little emojis around, I'll pull up my Slack. There's little emojis like the technical analysis emoji. And if you kind of put that in there, you can go to the community voted technical analysis and whatever the community thinks is important for technical analysis will get voted and you could kind of just filter through there. You have your own individual uh, digital notebook with all of your notes that you could take in here. So yeah, I mean, this is basically everything guys. This is very unique. This is proprietary. Uh, Fernando created this for you guys. And that's basically it, Tosh. Dude, awesome job, man. Let me switch this over so I can screen share again. Alex, it'll just stop your screen share, correct? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, one sec. 
Okay, cool. Can you guys see my screen now? Yep. See you. Awesome. Yeah, Alex, great, great introduction to that, man. Like, like I said, guys, we also have, this is the main page of the MIC archive. So if you guys want to watch the tutorial videos on actually really how to implement it, rather than our just really quick introduction right here, definitely check those, those out on the MIC archive. But dude, I'm telling you, man, this is one of the number one things that's going to cut your learning curve because there's just endless examples, man. And look, not everybody, you know, um, it has the time to necessarily watch videos all day. Videos are our best resource, but this is a great guide, guys. If, you, if you're at work and you have to, you know, go to the bathroom break and just, you know, snag a couple minutes and look at charts and look at comments from the past, man, anything like that. And I'm a visual learner, man, and, but I also like to read as well. So if I'm reading the commentary with Val's chart that day, like with a really detailed, you know, analysis that was saved, dude, that's, that's fucking awesome, man. Seriously, I'm telling you. So definitely, definitely take advantage of both our video library and also the MIC archive if you are in your lifetime, but if you are monthly guys right now, you can upgrade very easily. Just text my line or DM me and we'll get you started and access to all this wonderful stuff. Um, so obviously if you guys tuned in a little bit, a little bit late, we had a full introduction from TZ, uh, trade zero, Dan Pipitone, the, the man behind TZ. Um, he came on, he introduced the perks. Let me just say them really quick, just for the guys that came after that kind of introduction. If we definitely have a partnership with them now for our non US based guys, this is international, baby. Special perks for MIC members 5%, 5% literally off the locate, guys. This is off hard to borrow fees. That's so big. It's insane, especially if you're a very active trader. Dude, the money that you're going to save with our partnerships alone with either Cobra, T. Z, the fact that you don't need a scanner, uh, the fact that we don't even charge for think, think scripts. If you use TD Ameritrade, for God's sakes, just hit up Joe. You are going to be able to pay for your membership at MIC for free, dude. Like there's so much money that we're saving you guys in other avenues that if you allocate it towards MIC, it's practically free, man. So you know, you're going to get a plat platform free for three months. Uh, this is only exclusive for MIC members. Then after the third month, it's 20%. Uh, DM Trade Zero Inc. Uh, and you're going to talk to Tonel. I'll actually show that right now in uh, Broker Talk. God, I'm always blind when I'm trying to find. There we go. <laughs> Broker talk. So here are the brokers, guys. Just going real quick. This is the Trade Zero representative, Tonel. Uh, talk to talk to them if you have any questions. And also our uh, partnership with Chad Hessing, uh, the CEO and president of Cobra Trading and or Venom. This is for our USA based guys. So if you guys are, you know, a little bit smaller of account guys and, and you're not over PDT, that's okay. You can go to Venom Trading. I think it's a three to 5k minimum to start. They, they you definitely talk to Chad directly, talk to his, um, his tab partners, his partners in crime like Chris or Dan Miner, any of those guys over there. And they're going to help get you started. Um, being an MIC member at Cobra or Venom, you are going to have 25% off commission structure for being a member alone. And again, guys, if you're a very active trader, the, the amount of money that you're going to save in either fees, hard to borrow fees through trade zero, just commission-based fees, maybe even platform fees. If they have a promo going on at random times, it's, it's going to pay for your membership at MIC. We built it so you guys can save where we where, where you can, right? let alone our taxes guy, which I'll introduce later. So, you know, this is how to contact the brokers guys in Broker Talk, and you will find all the information in there and you can actually literally DM them. So just to give you an example of what a direct message looks like, Taniel right here, if I wanted to send Taniel a message, boom, I am now literally in a DM with Taniel. Hey, um, can I get started in TZ? What does that look like? Bada, 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 get started and they will help you. Uh, same goes with anybody in chat and specifically Chad Hessing and his team as well. Um, okay, back to it. Yeah, Val's posting a lot of content here as well, guys, for you guys to know. Um, we have at MIC what's called daily trader phone calls. This is very exclusive to MIC. Myself, the moderators, Dude, we have special time slots every single day. We are literally willing to get on the phone with you guys. Um, and I, I mean, I don't know if there's a better way to help, literally. Obviously, you guys have access to every resource, the video library, the daily commentary that's wonderful. But if you guys literally need to get on the phone with us, man, we will get on the phone with you. And, um, you know, I've coached a couple guys recently that are just becoming stellar, stellar traders, man, from when they first joined because we get on regular phone calls. Shout out two-way traders, shout out David, you know, one of our lifetime, actually, I think they're both lifetime members, but dude, I'm telling you right now, we have every single resource you need at MIC. It is all about hand-holding. It is all about one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you guys need help, 
you just have to ask, man, please reach out to us if you need it. Do not be shy. Um, I have a um, list of rules for shorting guys that have helped me stay safe over seven years. You know, when you've been trading for seven years, you learn a thing or two on not how to get screwed over by certain things, you know, shorting front side of day one, you know, micro floats, phase two biotechs. I put this rudimentary guide together so you guys can get an idea of what it's like to stay safe and how to navigate, especially if you're a new short seller. So definitely take advantage of that. That's posted in the main room at 4 a.m. Eastern, and uh, you can just download my rule set. And we have tons of other downloadable content like I showed you in the new member channel where you guys can um, download all these kinds of links and like daily report cards and keep up to date on really cool stuff, man. We even have a DOS indicator with Bao's custom audio intro where the minute zombie hour hits, dude, it's going to draw something on your chart like a line of zombie hour and Val's gonna give like a cool introduction dude it's so awesome man it's it's like a think script um but let's get into i'm actually gonna minimize this let all right so i think we got yeah i'll let you guys look at charts as i explain uh but, but here is the slack channel guys this is obviously our chat room which i showed you i showed you the main trading chat i showed you after hours where we have all the fun and games um we have a large cap and options room like i said so joe kelly you know Faye, edson uh brian's very big in here if you guys need any help if you guys uh, want to just network with big cap and options traders you literally have this option so oh god what's going on biden will beat trump says historian who predicted every presidential race <laughs> well we'll see <laughs> i have no idea what that'll do to the market but i'm assuming it'll be kind of hectic um we have a market news feed section guys so if you need up-to-date current information it's kind of like a squawk box we got that in here chart recaps and fills i showed you guys this earlier this is where we please ask you that you post your charts if you are not a mentor or a moderator which we post in main trading chat to teach you guys um next new member channel trading accountability buddy we went through those Ah, this is the holy grail of the morning. So guys, check this out. This is the watch list channel that, um, you know, Alex puts together every single day, guys. I'm telling you, this is one of the, we could charge for this, but we don't, man, because again, we just feel it'd be right to, to really give this to you guys and make sure it's available for MIC members. But I'm telling you right now, man, this is worth $100 a month in itself, if not way more. Alex puts together a very detailed watch list every single day. And for a couple of guys who've asked me, is this both a long and short watch list. Here's the thing. Alex may be a little bit more of a short bias trader, but we are definitely, 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 and specifically if you know our process, talking in a way that is designed for both sides. If Alex is saying he does not want to touch something that's short, dude, that may be your cue to go long and you will know why based on our proprietary trading strategies, based on our process, you will know. But if you are a short bias trader, he is telling you the lines, he's telling you the most broken stocks of the day, and he's telling you the levels of interest where he wants to hit a stock. So really informative. Joe usually does a big cap version. Alex puts together a video version of it. And uh, just dudes, uh, now B Wells is posting, man. Shout out my boy B. Uh, he's an actor in the industry. He's actually kind of famous, <laughs> kind of like a celebrity of MIC. But dude, he posts his. I'm telling you guys, this is a community to help each other, man. Announcements, anytime we have something in here, guys, we'll post. Um, daily report cards, definitely download this uh, template. This was David who I was talking about earlier. David's not in here today. He actually apologized to me. He was like, dude, I sorry I can't make your webinar, man. I got some family stuff. I said, bro, it's all good, man. I get you next week. But as you guys can see, he's shorting certain setups. He's tracking his trades. If it isn't trader view, I highly recommend saving your charts, putting them in here, and getting a detailed description of everything that you need. Um, let's see. Swing trading room. I showed you this. Uh, I showed you weekend mentoring. Uh, trading stations, guys. Post your trading stations. We'd love to see them. O'Neill, that is absolutely sick, dude. The porn lighting looks great, man. I love it, dude. Show all your... Oh, shit. Dude, Gil's not fucking around, man. <laughs> damn. Dude, I couldn't even... Focus. I, how the hell do you look at that many charts, bro? God damn. I'd lose my mind, dude. That's awesome. Hold on. That's what's called a thread, guys. I open this up with a thread and then I posted a comment. You can add a reaction, whatever you want, man. It's just cool stuff. This is a way we engage as a community and support each other. Um, and then let's see, taxes is the last channel I wanna talk about real quick. This is a video that I want anybody who's interested in getting someone to manage your taxes and handle this every single year. We have a partnership with a CPA called Brian Rivera, this man right here. He's a dear friend of mine, a wonderful trader in his own right. And here's the thing, guys, 
when it comes to taxes, man, there are so many loopholes. There are so many things that the educated accountants or CPAs can save you money. If you have the wrong CPA or accountant, you're dead, dude. Uncle Sam's got your nuts in advice, and there's so much money that is probably wasted. All you needed was an educated CPA. And not only educated, man, why wouldn't you want the guy in charge of your taxes? to, Dude, he's a fucking traitor. If he's trying to save himself money, he's going to try to save you money, dude. That's the whole point, man. You need to, you you want someone walking the walk and talking the talk, man. So highly recommend my dear friend, Brian. He's wonderful. He's a great dude. And he's a great trader, man. He's going to help you guys out. Um, so I think that's an advice. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. I knew Joe's ears were pricking up on that one. Um, let me show you guys two more things. And then I'll kick this over to a Q&A. If you guys click the top left corner, and you go to, oh, what the hell? Did it, did it change? I think Slack updated. What the hell? I think Slack actually updated. How do I change my set of preferences? How do I edit my profile now? Alex, you seen this shit, dude? Slack just updated. <laughs> That's it, bro. They threw you a curveball. Dude, they threw me, what the hell? How can I change my shit? Workspace settings. That's definitely not it. Tools. No. What are you trying to change? I, I'm trying to, no. Well, here's how a couple things you can change, like themes and stuff. I'm trying to see how I can show people how to change their Oh, here we go. Okay, they changed it to here. So if you guys can see the very top right right here, and then you click edit profile, it used to be on the left. Here is where you can remove or upload an image. Uh, put your times. Oh, shit, I'm back in Cali. I got to put that shit. <laughs> I'll do that later, whatever. But I'm actually not in Arizona anymore. Um, so you guys can just update what we see as a community. If you want to get a little personal, you can totally, I would, I'd recommend not putting your phone number there, guys. Just, 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 I want to keep, you know, just keep you guys safe. You know, you never know if someone gets your phone number or something like a spammer or something that's a troll, you never know. So just be safe. Maybe not phone number, but you can put your information there. Uh, we are not going to spam you. So if you get a spam, it ain't from us, man. Um, that's how to edit profile. We also have, this is the main trading chat. I'm going to show you how to filter out either a ticker or a um, trader in question that you want to see as commentary. So uh, WRX was definitely, definitely in question today. We had a lot of commentary on this. If you type in the ticker symbol, you are now going to have a full um, list, timestamp in order, guys, of what that ticker was, what we said about it, links that was posted. Um, you know, Bao posting one of his charts. You can go back and see what he did. It's a great way to filter out the noise. Second is you can actually do a trader. So let's type in from colon, and then we'll use Alex as an example. Always use my boy. And then uh, this is everything that Alex posted. Like today, p &L, it was super small today, but because it was super slow, there wasn't much opportunity. So not every day is going to be big home runs. We talk about that, but you can see his commentary behind everything. You know, some days Alex will make 100K, some days he'll make 500. Guess what? Not every day is going to be a home run. We don't care, man. It's about process. We're trading what our process would, would allow. I know 100% because I'm the same way that Alex would rather make $500 than lose two grand any day of the week, man. Preserve your capital, preserve your mental capital. So actually, without further ado, I think, I think we'll start a Q&A. Alex, where you at, brother? I'm ready, where's, bro. where's Joe Kelly? Where's that sexy beast? Let me, let me record this. Are we getting the are we getting the trifect on? Is Joe coming or is it just us? Uh, we could start without Joe for now. All right, Joe, if you find your way in, brother. So, guys, this is this is your chance to now um, ask any question that you have, whether you're a member or whether you're a non-member looking in on the YouTube live. Please ask your questions, guys. This is your time. Obviously, you can text me at any time, but let's get your questions answered. Yep. So, if anyone has some questions, let's uh, start filling them. Oh, gotta add me, or y'all can handle. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Should be good, Joe. What up, ladies? Oh, yeah. There he is. Dude, how about that one time you snuck your ass in here without our permission? Oh, my God, dude. That's gotta, someone's got to make a meme <laughs> of that one. That was on the, uh, the trader clinic. <laughs> Bro, that was literally one of the – oh, that uh, was on the trader clinic. <laughs> Bro, that was funny. That was hilarious. You know what, Alex? I don't think we actually introduced that today. You want to introduce or just talk about what the trader clinic is? Yeah, so once a month, uh, me and Tosh do a lifetime member-only webinar called a Trader Clinic, and we kind of bring on lifetime members and kind of mentor them live and help them out, answer questions, review charts, and it's basically another uh, lifetime perk. Yeah, man, it's a lot of fun, guys. Seriously, it's like a whole other webinar series that we think you'll really enjoy. So it's just another advantage of being a lifetime member. Yep, so uh, send in your questions, guys, and we'll start uh, again through it. 
I know someone wanted me to, t uh, I think Alex, one of our members earlier asked me in PMs if we could talk about WRX at some point today and kind of what happened, man, because this was the most broken stock of the day that actually turned into the strongest stock. So I think we should leave some definite time to talk about that one, man. Yeah. So one question before that, uh, earlier in the webinar, it appeared to me that the Jumpstart Accelerator was being included with the annual membership. It is included with the lifetime membership, not the okay. annual membership. We but, are running a somewhat bundled deal, but you got to text me at 213-458-5997 and we'll figure Yeah, I'm sure Tosh could work with you to try to get you that deal, but uh, you'd have to hit him up privately for that. Yes, but, but that only comes included for free in a lifetime, brother. Yep. Um, can you walk through how you handled WRX at the open? So WRX was a broken stock free market that was pumped in the morning. So what ended up happening today on WRX was that there was no other stocks really moving today. Everything was kind of broken. Everything was dead. So the one stock that wasn't completely dead yet after the open, it bounced a little bit and that was WORX. So everything else tanked except this one stock, which meant that all the day traders went and they flocked to it. What ended up happening is a notorious chat room started pumping it and their goal is to pump these stocks that are broken to try to trip short sellers over. But what they fail to realize is if the trend is broken, these bounces are just nothing more than a dead cat bounce. So after the 250 and 260 line uh, topped out, right here, uh, we, we noticed that that second pop to 260, there was a lot of sellers at 260. There was a lot of sellers and there was chat rooms pumping it and pumping it and pumping it and it was not moving. So actually what ended up happening is the chat rooms ended up trapping the long bias traders, ended up exhausting the short bias traders, and then we finally got our reversal, and now we're back to low days, basically. Yeah, so guys, if you notice, um, a couple of traders say, even Bao, you know, kind of showed his chart on how he lost a little bit on what became the front side of this pump. You know, without the pumper, guys, this would have this never done this shit, man. This just, this just doesn't happen unless like a pumper gets involved and then all his sheep run and flock towards it. But as Alex just said, dude, this was a broken stock. So when these things do pump up, man, it's almost like a ticking time bomb before they come back down. Now that is not investment advice to just add, add, add until you're right, because one can get away from you. But Bao lost on the way up, like he showed a couple members did. And then once it topped out, Alex called it perfectly, dude. He said the 50, he said it live, dude. I mean, Alex, I'm sure your chart's in here somewhere. He said, dude, the 50 and the 60 line is where you want to scale into. The top is set. That's where resistance is. And then dude, look at this fade. Look at what a sick move this is. You could have recuperated all your money back or been patient enough to wait for something like this. Simple process. Yeah, and I'm if you go to the webinars channel, Tosh, I posted uh, oh, you did. The, uh, the, uh, the timing of everything too. Oh, perfect. Yeah, 701. Dude, yeah, seriously, man. So sick, dude. Yeah, it'll just take you right to it. But, um, you know, the point of this, guys, is this is process every single day. As you guys can see, we go through it. And you guys can, like, obviously, if you're a member, you can go back and look at all the commentary. But you guys just, it's real time, man. You can see it all in here. And then this was like bows. And, and if we go in, shoot, Alex, sorry, I was, buddy, I was having a little bit of a hard time finding your exact chart. But you guys get the idea, man. As I just showed you bows, that's what happened. And Alex shorted this line. And it was perfect. Got another question here. It says, what do you mean by broken charts? I see you mentioned that in your posts. Saw the death candle on WORX today at 10.13 p.m. P.m.? I don't know about that. Um, saw the death candle on works today. Is that what defines a broken chart? Uh, Alex, you want to start with this one? Because I you love this shit, dude. I know you do. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a broken chart is a stock, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a chart that's broken. It's a stock that has broken down and is downtrending and is under VWAP and longs are stuck. So on, like a, a, on a broken stock, what we're trying to do is we're trying to join the trend lower because weak stocks tend to get weaker and strong stocks tend to get stronger. So when we see a broken stock, what we are looking for, what we are waiting for is we are waiting for a dead cap bounce, ideally into resistance to short that bounce before it ends up going lower. 
guys, there's no coincidence that literally Bao, Alex, and myself are literally not in the same room, and we all hit time today, the exact same chart in the exact same area. Why? Is because just dude, this is exactly what it sounds like. Look it up to the bell. This shaded area is pre-market on TOS, right? I use TOS for charting and I use DOS for execution. Look at this. This cannot hold its trend to the upside. So it broke down. There's overhead. You know, from from the open, there's 150 to 183. That's overhead. These are longs in trouble. These are longs down on their position that traded today. So what happens, do you think, when a resistance level is going to come into play when it's this far under VWAP? And as Joe Kelly and I talk about every single week, if a stock is very far under VWAP by the open and hasn't touched it in about an hour, dude, VWAP's the outer line. Going into, and like I always give myself VWAP, into the next top. So I would have scaled up to 176 with probably a stop at 180. Like that's what you have to do. But the, the point is, this is what a broken stock looks like. If you guys are following the news right now or seeing anything, this, this is not a broken stock. This is the, this, but this is a spy, by the way. I'm kind of just joking around with this because the, like big caps are insane right now. But dude, does this look like a stock that's broken down? Tr price action is price action across the board. There's big caps or small caps. What does this look like to you? That's strong. That's not a broken stock. Now let's go back to time. That's broken. This is broken. These are shorts on pops. This is what we teach. This is process. If you're shorting something that looks like Netflix today, you're a dummy. You're a dummy. Why would you short this shit? That's not broken. You're guessing. You're gambling. Go to the roulette table, dude. Make sense? Fucking Netflix, dude. Jesus. It's shocking, isn't it? Dude, what the hell is going on, man? The Fed is cleaning up, as Alex would say. Bro, they the buy algo is printing like never before. Can I just get some Amazon, please, at a reasonable price? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, another question is, um, uh, Alex, MIC didn't exist when you started. What do you think separated your success from compared to others? What I do you think a, you did differently? I was a hard worker. I was eating, sleeping, breathing, trading. We didn't have video lessons back then. We didn't have anything. So I would just go back, back test and do it the old fashioned way. I would have to lose money to learn how to make money. I would have to review my trades every day. I would have to recap my trades. I would have to figure it out myself. If I had MIC when I first started, I would have found consistency light oh years God. faster, light years. Instead, and Alex, don't, I don't you think fashion way. Dude, and Alex, don't you think we'd honestly be way better than if we had MIC when we first started? Because, dude, how many bad habits did we actually have to unlearn that made us scared? Of course. I mean, when anyone's starting, they're taught to buy the breakout and use the hot keys and buy the one-second pullback and all this garbage that, you know, takes some time to unlearn. So I had bad habits that I had to unlearn. And the only way that that was happening was because I had to find a way to, you know, put in the work and do the opposite of what 90% of traders were doing. Guys, this is where when you start at a service that is not MIC, this is where they're telling you to buy. You, you understand that, dude? They're, they're, they're just slaughtering you, man. We're teaching you where to look for the short on this, where psychology is telling you the chart wants you to get in short or long. Not some dumb fuck's agenda with a, with a, you know, a steady stream of members that he can pump to. Do you guys understand what this is? This is artificial. No pumper. This does not go to 273. He gets in, alerts his position, then 10,000 people follow him up, dude. This is a ticking time bomb for a long. Look at the unwind. There's a lot of people stuck. Poor also, bad. if you if you are a new member, I just want to kind of chime in. If you're a new member and you're just kind of tuning in, are there any specific questions that you guys have? Maybe things that you guys specifically need help with, maybe more resources that we could create for you? Again, this is just for new members that just recently joined. Yeah, like in the last like couple of days, a week, or how are you guys liking it? Would love to know. Next question is, as a short bias trader, which one of your strategies, strategies would you recommend to focus on for small, consistent gains? If you ask me, it's the, it's the VWAP pop short on an extremely broken under VWAP stock on day one or a low-hanging fruit. Um, Alex, what do you think, though? It's always the low hanging fruit or the death line. Those are the simplest and easiest to identify that usually spit out the most profits if they are around that day. I love it. Joe, what do you think in big caps, dude? What do you think the number one strategy is for big caps for, for guys to build accounts? Uh, for the short side, it's going to be first red day. 
for sure. If you walk into if you walk into big caps with a short bias, you go ahead and just kiss your account goodbye because it's gone, gone like a fart in the wind. Oh, it man. is for um uh for small accounts uh or somebody starting new i would tell them first green day uh which is just the opposite of the first red day um and a great example of a first green day chart to look at is rkt let's take a look rkt let's take a look because again guys we're not just small the daily uh one sec buddy there's one year chart so look at that massive sell-off after the IPO. The IPO goes straight parabolic and it does nothing but red, 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 red. And then find and you wait. <clears throat> well, there's a lot of videos on how we trade the first green day. And I've done them, Bow's done them. A lot of people have talked about the first green day in here. Um, but that is the key setup right there. And you don't need a big account to do it. Dude, I love it, man. It's the opposite of the first red day, guys. Seriously, when a stock really actually starts to get traction. Dude, how sick is that? So obviously these link the intraday to the daily. So if we were to go back to the intraday kind of thing or like a 15 day chart, guys, look at this. See where it lines up, man. Once you can see that kind of like first green day and then it's just off to the races for a while, man. So there's a lot of power in swing trading as well, especially big caps. All right, who got some questions? Oh, whoa, works. Here we go. Pump it up. Let's get a play tomorrow. Joe, that was that was a nice death candle right there, man. Did it work? It did. <laughs> yeah, baby. Buddy. <laughs> I'd say it worked. Oh, man, that's too funny. Is there a scan for first green day? Um, not really, to be honest with you. You don't really need to, you don't really need to scan for it. See that, that is where I think a lot of people struggle. And this is where a lot of those other rooms can kind of jade you and get you in the wrong mentality. You don't need a special scanner to find things. There is no secret scanning sauce out there. If you wanna find a first green day, chances are it was a first red day to begin with. And you'll know when it's a first red day because literally everybody and their mom is gonna be talking about it. So when RKT IPO'd and it went parabolic, it's on everybody's scanner because you're watching it go parabolic. And so you just keep it on scan. You keep it on watch. You keep it on a chart. You keep it in a watch list. You just keep an eye on it and you're just checking it every day, every little bit. And you're just looking at the daily chart. You're seeing, okay, we've got multiple consecutive red days. Um, so on and so forth. And I mean, there's, there's a lot of videos. I've done webinars on it. Um, there's a lot of videos in the library on the setup on how to find it. But there's no special scanning sauce. Yeah, there really isn't, man. Seriously. Guys, there's no special sauce in anything, man. You got to learn how to trade, man. This is not a community that's going to give you a pump, a special scanner, one play that's going to be the best play you've ever found for the rest of your life. It's going to have you retire on an island. It's, Dude, this is process every single day, man. There's, there's no secret sauce. The secret sauce, man, is putting in the time and learning. And we teach every little bit on how to learn. Now, one setup can actually get you ready over time but you're gonna have to adapt as the market conditions go and you know if one setup doesn't work for a little while just because the market conditions are changed and it's not a shorts market and shorts aren't getting bail bailed out and you know longs are really in control maybe you also want to know the first bounce on top of the death line short you know if there's no death lines for a week or two so but we teach process man we teach you how to actually fish for yourself yep hell yeah can you explain the get feature on MIC? Oh, hell yeah. Hat, Joe, go ahead. Little box. Actually, I'll just do it. <laughs> so if you guys want to look for a certain ticker, 
you do the money or uh what is it joe again i haven't done this in a long time uh, i think you at, do at get, get then the money sign right then the money sign and the ticker symbol so wrx for example guys um if i press you know enter it's now going to in the main trading chat it is now going to pop up a thread which is going to give you all the fundamental information that you're going to need whether it's float whether it's ownership and links provided so hey let's go to finviz and look at wrx right just click the link boom we're right there I mean, dude, that is so sick. Oh, there's a Twitter thing now. Look at that. That's cool. Let's see. You can click uh, a Twitter thread. Boom. Twitter thread. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, there you go. Cool. Love it. Get get take. Take. <laughs> <laughs> it just pops open like swing trading positions, Amazon at Tesla at <laughs> <laughs> yeah. NAK at oh shit. Alex, there are a few few new members here who have mm. never executed a trade. After watching the jump start, still struggling to find fill or buy or sell orders without making mistakes. It would be nice if there was a dedicated moderator who walked people new people through the process Yo, don't you have videos on this in trading basics absolutely is there any way you can link that uh, i'm not in front of my computer had to go mobile today but okay. if you just type in like mine but like tosh on the right side on yours just go to the videos one sec buddy <clears throat> scroll down to my Trading basic series there. Ah, I yes. I think Trading I found basic. it. Go Kelly, baby. Yeah, and go to like last, click last page. We had a whole it series. It was like one of the very order. Yeah, order types and order entry right there. And then go to page nine. And then here you can watch like the DOS software ones. Um, like position all that size stuff. calculator. Yep. Yep. Cute. And then, um, and then to learn order entry, you need to go watch the live trading videos, especially the ones that James is putting out right now. Yeah, seriously. Like, that is crucial. Is what is what James put? I haven't even asked this question. Is what James put out only available for lifetime and annuals? We life, actually made it available trades? for everyone. We actually made it available what, for um, members. <laughs> they're, they're so good. Too cheap. Too cheap. <laughs> Too cheap. <laughs> I yeah. mean, so if I'm a new person that doesn't know how to like do orders, we're not here to educate you on order entry. You need to ask your broker those questions, how to place these orders, how to do these things, how to see these fills, how to, you need to ask the broker that question. They're the one putting the order out in the market for you. Um, but if you want to watch someone else place orders to kind of get an idea on how you want to approach it, Go watch live trading videos, which yep. are all in there. Yep, yep, yep. There was another question here too. Perfect. That's how to do. Sorry, that. a lot of people are using Zoom chat as well, so I'm like trying to get through those. Take your time. Is there we'll a video? <clears throat> Sorry, is there a video on using Venom setup, etc.? So Venom clears through interactive brokers. And so the platform you're going to use is Trader Workstation, unless you want to pair Venom to DOS Trader. So you have two platform choices, Trader Workstation or DOS Trader. Um, and you can uh, look up, I mean, I did an entire DOS walkthrough, which is like episode number four in the basic series, four or five. Um, and then there are uh, a countless number of YouTube videos on Trader Workstation layouts. I mean, Trader Workstation has been around for like 20 years. So it, it's not an uncommon platform. This, this stuff is out there for sure. 100%. Link to James's video says annual and lifetime members exclusive video. 
Oh, there's the YouTube. Nice. Yeah, see. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, Delic just finished that video. He loved it. Sweet. So, Everybody Alex, what was your last steak dinner? <laughs> My last steak dinner was actually a steak lunch that I had today. <laughs> Alex, do it, do it. Alex, you want to I was about to say, I was, about, I was like, bro, I hadn't seen a steak dinner posted from you in a long time. It was Yo, a steak lunch today, bro. Dude, I know, bro, I know you guys are going to appreciate this. Guess what I had yesterday, man? I went to this uh, Mexican restaurant called Sabor, and, dude, it had ribeye carne asada tacos. Oh, oh son. It was, oh, it was, son. It was insane, oh. bro. It's fucking insane. <laughs> Now you're talking dirty, bro. Bro, it was Ooh. literally like chunks of fucking ribeye, dude, in my taco. I was like, this is like oh. technology that I'm just not even familiar with yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. So much meat in the taco that I'm not just, familiar with it. Oh, God. Where's yeah. our HR rep, bro? We need an HR rep here. <laughs> bro, we almost made a whole webinar without <laughs> Yeah, see, the funny thing about MIC, guys, is me, Joe, and Alex are the... I mean, they <laughs> say it on The Office, though, you know? So it's like, they said it on The Office, and that was broadcasted on national television that 13- and 10-year-old children saw. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we are the <laughs> Any other what questions, you guys? guys? This is your chance. Actually, Tay's probably the HR of MIC if we really break it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's how yep, she yep, looks yep. at all of us. That's exactly. how she looks at all of us. Click her picture. Dude, this, is, this is how Tay literally this looks at us. This is her She's reading like, all the comments. <laughs> These sons of bitches. She's like, just looking through down on, her, down on us at the top of her glasses, just like, oh, God. And Tay's like the nicest person you'll ever meet. So you can tell that like she's super nice, but she's definitely disappointed <laughs> in what we have. She got that Southern mom look, dude. I'm telling she's you. She's the best. Dude, I've, seen that, I've seen that look from my mom so many times. Just <laughs> sitting there and I'll say something. She looks down her glasses at me and I, you know, lower the chin, look at you like. This is mama you right here, man. Yeah, what'd you say, boy? What'd you say, boy? You going to say that again? No, <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I know that people in Texas don't screw around. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys ever consider doing what? I can't read because of damn chat. Live trading once a month. Live man. trading. Here's, oh. here's the problem. Here's the problem with live trading. No matter what you say or what you do, I feel like people are always going to follow you. And unless you do yeah. it on a delay, like well, at that point, what the fuck is even the point? Like the, the thing is, I see that there's value there. So what we're doing is I'm actually recording my live trades and we're going to kind of package another course together with my live trades. So you could kind of be uh, behind my shoulder and what I'm doing during these live trades is I'm commentating them live. So you're going to hear what I'm thinking live, not after the fact, because after the fact, I could just say fucking anything I want. You can say any fucking thing. Live is a lot more stressful. It's a lot more difficult, but I think it provides a lot more value. So far, I have about eight live trades recorded. I want to get up to 20. And then uh, hopefully by early next year, uh, we'll have this ready for you guys. Dude, that's awesome, Alex. I, I love the idea, man, because I, I, I was going to do this about a year ago is record a couple of my trades. Dude, the live commentary is literally priceless. Because like you said, man, after the fact, dude, as it's going on and just a recorded screen, you can say whatever the fuck you want. Dude. And you're like, I don't know. Was I thinking about this during the thing? Dude, live commentary is going to be insane. Yep. Uh, Flash has to do curse while trading live. I mean, you could ask Joe uh, or Dave. <laughs> dude, dude, not only that, man, you're actually going to hear him shit his trading diaper from time to time. Bro, I just... Bro, y'all... Y'all have never, y'all have never heard someone swear until you trade with someone from Jersey live on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> yep, I. You you have never heard someone swear until you hear someone live. You know what Jersey. though? You know what, dude? Though I will say, Joe. I will say, I've traded with Alex in person, side by side with him. Alex, remember that New Jersey trip? Dude, yeah, Alex is probably the most steady hand person, emotionless during trading I think I've ever met. Dude, one day he was like, uh, I was like, how much you short right there on that? Because I didn't have my computer. I was just expecting. I was like, I'm 5,000. All right, I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> he's just a fucking short 5,000 on some stock, walks away. I'll care. Yeah, he's like, I got to pee. Hang on. He's like, I got to take a piss. 
<laughs> I was like, uh, is that also, all? Also to the live trading stuff, I've been behind the scenes recording uh, live options trades because I know a lot of people always have questions about day trading options. And so I've been recording live trades of intraday options trades that I'm going to do probably in the large cap series as well. Very nice. So I've knocked out two of those. Uh, and I'm doing it with stupid small size too. I'm not, so everybody can relate. I'm doing it with relatable size. I'm not doing it like I'm not buying five, 10, 20 contracts and then nobody can relate. And they're yep. just like, oh my God, it looks so cool that you make all this money. I'm and like, I'm doing the I'm, same with uh, my live trades. I'm capping yeah. myself at 2000 shares max size. So you guys can kind of see that as well. Well, guys, and yeah, let's talk I, about why that's important. Because at the end of the day, look, Anyone who posts a PL, guys, here's the, here's the damn truth. PL is not going to help your personal trading. You know what's going to help your trading? Someone who is showing you the process. It's not about numbers. I don't care whether Joe's using a 10 share size or a 10 million share size. It doesn't matter. Is he waiting for the lines? Is he following his process? Dude, size will not save any of you. Yep. That's not the answer in trading. Is it about a repeatable process? I don't care if you're using 100 shares or 100 grand, man. It's the same process. Yep. The way you get in and out is different, though. Like, Correct. but what yeah. Tosh is yeah. saying is like the plan is the same. But I mean, Alex can talk about this. He, you know, it's the difference of when, you know, when you were trading 100,000 shares, how you get in and out Slippage. is very Slippage. different. Yes. That is true. It is a totally different it, ball game, my friend. It's like, yeah, you see the line and the process is the same. But when you use that amount of size, it's, I mean, it's, it's like, okay, I can't use that analogy. Um, <laughs> I'm sure it was dirty. It was. Where's the uh, HR? Where's the review team? Where's HR? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there she is. She's typing. <laughs> He's typing, dude. Uh, uh, that's all I'm like, no, I can't use that. Anyway, Lost so, it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it, it's, it's like, imagine carrying like a really long piece of timber or like a really long, like, my God, lumber. you're from Texas, bro. <laughs> the you're way that Texas. you turn a corner is different, you know? It, it, it's like, if you just, like, this little handheld size, like, just log. You throw it's it on the It's a lot of weight, stuff. dude. It's a lot of are weight. We still, are we still talking about trading, bro? What the hell God, are we I'm talking trying, about? I'm I think Joe turned into a porn star. I'm that analogy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's got a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got you that. Have you milked a cow? No? Okay, well. Uh... <laughs> You've been cow tipping. <laughs> Yeah, guys. Let's so say it this way. The way you cook a thin steak is very different than how you cook a thick steak. There yes. it is. The, that is the, HR there it is. <laughs> the process remains the same, guys. It's still the same process, but executing with 100,000 shares, I should say, versus 100 is very different. And the slippage is extraordinary. So you have to, you have to account for that for sure. But it's the same thought yeah. process where you want to get in. Yeah, where exactly you what Tosh was saying. Like the thought process is the same. It don't Your matter. Your plan is still the same. Yep. Yep. Just how you get into that trade is very differently. And so what Alex is showing and what I'm showing is, and what James is showing is that, you know, you're, you, we're using, we're using small size that literally every trader can relate to. And so that everyone can learn. Correct. Yep. Because dude, it, it's like, honestly, man, I know traders who've been trading for 20 years and they do, they won't, they won't reach 5,000 share count. You know why? Cause dude, 5,000 shares the next hundred years can make you a fortune if your entries are correct. I mean, take it from Alex, someone who literally traded in a prop firm, you know, used much bigger money than a lot of retail traders at one time. And he still says to this day, dude, it's not about size. It's about consistency. 5,000 shares, dude, can get, can like really create you a living for the rest of your life, dude. Even 3,000, for God's sakes. Yep. Bro, 5,000 shares of Tesla at 300? <laughs> Son. <laughs> what buying power is that? God damn. <laughs> what is that, like 150 million or something? <laughs> something small like that. It's a lot. 
Dude, I was telling Alex, I was like, earlier we were talking about Amazon. I was like, bro, Amazon is getting to the point where pe people can't even hold 10 shares in a cash account. Like, dude, one share is 3,500 bucks. What the heck? Dude, yeah. It, <clears throat> now, here's the thing that gets me is, you know, everybody in these other rooms are going to be like, oh, Amazon showing weakness. Starter, took a starter on the short. Oh, and, God. And they make and they make 20 points on Amazon, which is like five ticks of Amazon. That's one can. But the, yeah, but the <laughs> longs over here made 100 points, and it's like, okay, we're not over here bragging about, you know, we found the top. We've just been riding the trend. And so that's what you have to come into large – that's the attitude you have to come into large caps with is you have to ride the trend. I, I, I say – I call it going with the flow of the river. Like you don't step in a really fast flowing river and expect that it's not going to take the feet out from underneath you. Like, and then all of a sudden you're getting carried into the current and you're dead. If you're a short of the ocean, baby. Yeah. It's the same thing in, <laughs> it's the same thing in, in small caps. The flow of the river is to the short side. Like the flow of the river is to the short side. The long side is short lived, but it's there. And when it does come, it's powerful. Same thing with the, on the short side and big caps. When, when the short side comes, it's powerful, but it's very short-lived. I don't know if and there's so, anything yeah. that represents this better than Netflix today. <laughs> Dude. Bro, for real. Like, there's a no tidal relief. wave. There's a fucking tsunami. Yeah, no relief for a short. Zero. Re that's, look, guys, if you're stuck down here from 520, this is not relief. Let me just yeah. say, this is a healthy pullback for 600 coming. <laughs> it, that right there was prayers for VWAP. That was all that that was. 100,000. Please, Jesus, just drop to VWAP. Can we break V? <laughs> nope. And no. Back at Chuck Shorts were begging for this, dude. They would have done reach arounds for 530. <laughs> yep. All right, I had to. Okay. Had to okay, that was less PG than mine was. All right, I'm but just I had to say to that. One. We're all allowed one. <laughs> Mine had to do with food. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yours had to do with food. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what do you consider a small or large cap? I'll let oh, Alex yeah. answer that or Tosh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I say Alex, it a million ahead, times. Alex is it. it depends, right? I mean, it depends how much meat is there. If a stock is gapping up 10 or 20%, there's not much meat on the bone compared to it gapping up 100 or 200%. So for me, I like anything more than, you know, 40, 50% because that gives me range to play with the stock. No, yep. not gap. I, cap. Cap with a C. Cap? Oh, cap. cap. Yeah, I, cap. Thought he said, I thought he said gap as well. I thought he said so, gap as sorry, well. No. Yeah, they were asking what the difference between – well, that's a good reference anyway. I'm sure that was a good question. <laughs> <laughs> But the question is uh, what's, what do you consider the difference between a small and large cap? Oh, uh, I usually do it by the price of the stock. So usually most of the time, anytime a stock is under $5, it's usually a scam. And anytime a stock is over, let's say $25, it's usually a real company, quote unquote. So I use the price range of the stock usually. Yeah, market cap, like 100 mil, dude. The lower, the more scammy it is, right? Like, yep. dude. Like, look at the market caps on things like Time and War X, dude. And look at the price action, dude. Like we just said, anything under five, dude, because you have to understand five, over $5 is when big money and institutional money can get in the stock. So under that, dude, like big money's not really involved in this shit, dude. This is retail, you know, fuckheads like us. <laughs> <laughs> like all of us trying to learn this shit. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man! Just a bunch of fuckheads over here shorting shit, dude. This is so much fun, man. Like, I, I know we're kind of closing up on time, guys. And like, we look, man. These webinars are a chance for you guys to see how fun MIC is, to see the community that's involved, to see the people who are going to help train you. Um, I mean, I mean, where else? Literally, guys, I can't even say it again. Tosh, where let's do this, man. Let's do this. Let's do for uh, everyone attending here today. Uh, let's do a special discount if they want to upgrade to annual. So let's do it, man. So let them text you, Tosh, at 213-458-5997, and we'll work on a special deal just for them, just for today. Look at Joe. <laughs> Annotating all over my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just peed all over my screen. <laughs> Thank God it's something nice. Here's what we're going to do, guys. Alex just said it. He's being very generous. Um, text me if you have any questions about MIC.
PTC in general, accelerator course bundling, getting the accelerator course in, in itself as a standalone package. Um, Alex just offered a wonderful upgrade deal right here. This is my business line. I will get back to you by the end of the day today anybody that texts me. Uh, ideally, actually, in the next couple hours. I got to grab some food, though. So you'll probably catch me at Jersey Mike's texting your ass back saying, dude, this is the deal we're running. We're going to help you out. Anybody that just came in um, to MIC within the last, literally the last couple days because of maybe our anniversary promotion, I'm going to do some sort of, not a full, but some sort of pro rate deal so I'm telling you right now, guys, this is your one chance if you're brand new, just came in and watch this webinar and you're brand new and you decided that MIC is your home, you like us, and we hope that you do, man, because we're here for you every single week. Seriously. Yep. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for attending, everyone. We're going to know what you, you so order much, Jersey guys. Mike's. Joe, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, just the thing that you explained earlier. Oh, perfect. I'm going to go for tacos instead. <laughs> I feel like some beef tacos. All right, guys. We'll see you. We love you guys. Like that's Text like me. Overpriced vegetables, you know? <laughs> All oh, what, you're gonna get is like bell peppers and lettuce and tomatoes and like and bread. I was like he's like, I want a ribeye sandwich. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah, really, dude, it's still like a rabbit food sandwich about if you think about it. If All my right, guys. heart if my <laughs> arteries don't look at the table and at the plate and go Whew, let's get ready for this. Like it ain't a meal, man. <laughs> Joe, Joe, every time he sits down, here come the meat sweats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. See you guys. This is too much fun, man. See you guys.